this is GW4OKT on behalf of the Chester and District Amateur Radio Society UK. Just want to talk briefly about the Rig Expert AA30. This is the uh, the vanilla version of the antenna analyzers from Rig Expert, which covers 100 kilohertz up to about uh, 30 megahertz. What I want to do today is uh, show you a few things like measuring the SWR of an antenna, how to uh, cut a quarter wave stub and maybe uh, have a look at the uh, resonance of a trap. So we'll start off with the analyzer itself. This is the, uh, the version here. It runs on two AA batteries, a bit of a departure from the uh, previous one, the AA200, which needs rechargeables. This has a much brighter screen, which is great, and very nice and clunky, clicky switches, very positive. So first of all, we want to uh, connect the antenna up. The big thing with this is it doesn't like uh, static. So if you, this is the antenna, my 6BTV. And we'll just short out between the center conductor and the and the, uh, the earth, and then plug into the analyzer. So we're gonna check now what the uh, SWR is on a given frequency. Okay, so we're going to measure the SWR of my 6BTV antenna, which I've plugged in. And uh, currently you'll see the display is at 28500 uh, megahertz. I'll change this now to uh, 7.030. Uh, that's the band of interest at the moment. So if I uh, just alter this figure now, uh, it's 0, 7, 0, 3, 0. Now I can do uh, a spot check on the SWR by pressing button 7 and then the tick or the OK button. And currently that's pretty bad, it's 9.5 to 1. So I've got uh, an issue there. If I then want to uh, say uh, do a scan of the SWR over a range of frequencies, I can hit this one here, uh, button 4, the scan, and then OK. And you can see it's quite high. So this needs obviously some attention. While I'm at it, I'll just check the um, the frequency, uh, maybe 14060. So again, the two button for frequency, and then 14060, oh, oh, and then OK. And you can see it's just, this is much lower, much more desirable. <laughs> the uh, higher up the range you go, like the AA200, for instance, you can do a multi SWR check. This being the basic analyzer, you can't do that. It's still very, very good. If you want to do a check on where the SWR is the lowest, you can use this button here to scan further up and, and check. So you scan along and then hit the OK button again. And it'll, re it'll redo the, uh, the scan. And you can see where it's dropping now. So about 14, 250 or so, that's where it's the lowest SWR. Very handy function. If you look at the top here, you can actually alter the scan rate as well. It's currently uh, 187 kilohertz. You can change the range of that using this one here. This is 375 kilohertz. If you do the same thing again, you see a slightly different shape now over a, a wider range of frequencies. It, it's a question of what you're used to. If, if you want to do uh, uh, a nice sweep where you, you want well-defined curves, you, you might want to use the higher range of the, uh, the scan frequency. That's pretty cute, isn't it, really? Very useful too. If you want to do a, a spot one again, a spot SWR, you can hit that at that frequency, the uh, seven, and OK, the tick, 1.15 to one or so. So not bad at all. So now we're going to have a look at how to do uh, a quarter wave stub, open circuit stub. This one for, say, 28.5 megahertz. Um, if you do your normal calculation, for the uh, stub length, including the velocity factor and all that. Cut it slightly long, and there's a useful screen on this called the show all screen, which is uh, number button eight. So we're currently on 28.5, so we'll hit OK. And then go to the show all screen, which is eight. And you can see here, uh, what you're looking for is this X value to be zero, or fairly close to zero to indicate resonance. So this is the end of the stub here. If I make some cuts with the uh, scissors, 
you can see you don't have to read hit the OK button it'll do it live so it's 15 12.4, 9 9.8, 9, 6.5, 3.7, minus 2 points. It's gone too far, but it's fairly close to zero. So you can see you can do a live uh, adjustment of this and get fairly close to resonance. If you take more care, you can actually obviously get to zero. But it's a very easy function to use the show all screen. Okay, so now we're going to just check uh, a coaxial trap that I knocked together. Um, I know this one works at about 10.4 me uh, megahertz. Uh, in practice, there is a bit of a problem because you have to make sure that your, your coupling to the trap is quite close. Uh, some people make a big loop for sensing and sit the trap in the middle. This one is just a, a bit of messing around. I put a small, maybe an inch and a half one, uh, an inch and a half loop in the center of the trap. And we'll see, uh, we look for the dip on the SWR scan screen. So I know it's about 10.4 megahertz. So now I'll just say we'll go for the uh, OK button and again scan. And we're looking for the dip now. And you can see there it's reasonably sharp at about, uh, maybe let's have a look, about maybe. Uh, 10, 4, 50, something like that. Let's have a look. 10, 4, 30. Yeah, about 10, 4, 30 uh, megahertz. So it's pretty good. There is a chicken and the egg situation here. Is it, if your coupling's poor to the, the trap, uh, you don't know if the trap's working or it's just, or it's just poor coupling. So it does take a bit of practice uh, with different size loops, maybe. Just as a reminder, these things are very sensitive to static and so on. So this connection now from my 6BTV vertical antenna, before I plug in, uh, I always just short between the setting inductor and the, uh, the side of the plug, just to make sure there's no static. Then you can plug in, and then just do the, uh, the normal scan function. So, OK, and OK again, and this is for 21.03 megahertz now. Can you zoom in and see that? Uh, okay, Paul, it's mm -hmm. quite a nice, uh, nice uh, trail. Yeah, it's pretty good. So, the, uh, just be careful with the static. Don't leave them plugged into the uh, antenna, and of course, don't inject anything into the analyzer. It'll just kill the uh, the RF sensing chip.